Victoria. Oh my god, he's so goddamn cool! Hello, 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 my fellow Sunbreak Hunters! Welcome, one and all, as today we talk the last new armor skill in Sunbreak, the last one you will unlock, and indeed, the most dangerous, yet arguably the most powerful. This is Mail of Hellfire! But before we get ahead of ourselves and break down, examine numerically the skill, exactly how it does work, so you can decide for yourself if the power is worth the price, Scorn Magnamalo! Very, very cool. I love the scar, I love getting a variant, I love that it has a history with Hammond. It all together just comes to the fore as a fantastic little mini climax before we get title updates. Feels very Ruin and Urgigante, and overall, I much prefer him to normal Magnum Malo. And once he is defeated then, we gain access to his armor set. And on it is a skill called Mail of Hellfire. And the description is quite innocent, ultimately. Decreases defense, but increases attack. Exact changes to stats depend on the switch skill swap scroll that is being used. And red scroll, defense down, attack up. Blue scroll, resistance down, element up. Which, in essence, is how it actually works, but without numbers, it's really hard to tell if this is worth it, not worth it, if it's, like, gonna make a difference, if it's gonna beat out other skills, like, for example, Dereliction, because, you know, it's a very similar skill. Dereliction is a lot of power, but your health's constantly being drained. So if this is also a lot of power, but you get hit harder by monsters, it's kind of similar in that sort of double-edged sword trade-off. So what exactly then is going on? Well, first and foremost, when you are in Blue Scroll getting the attack up, you get this glorious shine on the armor. The armor which, by the way, looks absolutely incredibly gorgeous. Like, look, I am not one for this aesthetic, and I definitely prefer other armor sets, but I admit that objectively, yeah, that is cool. The floating flaming sword shoulders? I mean, what an inspired choice. So, uh, let's use the help of my fish and see how exactly this works. Now, of course, I've done extensive testing. I have done ranks 1, 2, and 3, looked at them element, looked at them physical, looked at the resistance, looked at the defense. So, instead of wasting your time and taking you through every single rank and element and attack back and forth, what it does, I will just, well, employ you to trust me as I tell you the final results. I think that makes a lot of sense. Let's start then with Red Scroll and the attack changes. Well, attack and defense. So, at rank 1, you gain 15 attack permanently and lose 50 defense permanently. At rank 2, you gain 25 attack permanently and lose 75 defense permanently. At rank 3, you gain 35 attack and lose 100 defense. Which, as you can see, is quite potent. Like, 35 permanent raw is really good. That is as strong as rank 3 Dereliction, and Dereliction is the strongest armor skill in the game. That says a lot. Essentially, then, there is a choice to be made when comparing to Dereliction. Would you rather have your health drained, or would you rather lose 100 defense? There's also a further choice in that Geismagon pieces that have Dereliction generally are better pieces of armor than Scorn Magnamalo that have Mail of Hellfire. Honestly, the only nice piece of Scorn Magnamalo to get Mail of Hellfire, which, yes, isn't on talismans and isn't a decoration, hopefully that will change with a title update. We could only hope, as it's a really neat skill, a proper power trade-off with Reckless Abaddon, but yeah, you really only want to be getting the waste. It's got a lot of slottage, and it's got that one rank of Hellfire for a permanent plus 15 raw, just for existing in red. That's quite nice, and honestly, at all ranks, losing 50 to 100 defense 
isn't that bad. That is definitely softer than the health drain, and you're not going to be taking that much more damage. It's quite manageable. So a solid choice for raw, even if the armor to get all three ranks kind of leaves you in a worse build than if you didn't. But a single rank from the waist, I think, is definitely worth considering. Let's talk the element side of things, or the element and resistances down, on blue scroll. This is where it gets a little bit more extreme. So at rank 1, you lose 10 resistances and gain 5% element. Yes, it is a percentage element increase, not a flat increase like Dereliction. Which means that Mail of Hellfire is better than Dereliction for element, the higher your base element is. Rank 2 then gives a plus 10% element and you lose 25 resistances, and rank 3 gives 20% element, which makes it better than Dereliction from 100 element onwards, at the cost! And are you sat down at minus 50 resist to all elements? Which, needless to say, will make your hunter fold like paper at the slightest notion of the concept of maybe a drop of water. Fire, thunder, dragon, you get the idea. This is a big deal. That is a lot more damage to take from element and is gaining 20% element when you already need such high element to begin with to make that better than dereliction and you have to use uh, the uh, hellfire pieces which are worse than other armor pieces? Kinda not really, but in a super situational world, this likely does result in the highest element value. The only issue is with Mail of Hellfire is that you can't use it at the same time of Dereliction. If you're in blue for element, well, Dereliction's giving you raw attack. If you're in red for raw attack, well, Dereliction's giving you element. A hybrid where you care both about raw and element between the two might be quite a fun build, but definitely a reckless one. In any case, it's hard to kind of evaluate this skill. If we ignore the armor pieces it's tied to, let's pretend that you just have, you know, Mail of Hellfire decorations. It would probably be up there as a required skill for essentially everyone. Yes, the con is that you take more damage, but the gain per rank is absolutely monumental. And honestly, it would likely be more valuable than something like Weakness Exploit. Just like Dereliction, if you could put it in a decoration slot, would be the same. But Dereliction comes on armor that is fantastic for essentially every build. Whereas Mail of Hellfire, not so much outside of the waste piece. So yeah, in a vacuum, this skill is ridiculously powerful. Three ranks for plus 35 attack. Three ranks for plus 20% element. That is insanely good. But is it better than not using it and having different better armor pieces? Probably not. And also the existence of dereliction, which is a skill that's just as powerful, but with better base armor, and you could argue less of a cost, especially for element as dealing with the health drain isn't that bad. Well... It kind of leaves Mail of Hellfire in an awkward place. A place that's still very good, but a place that's probably going to take some working out to find where it really shines compared to a lot of the other builds and skills in the game. So, I don't know how I managed to spend so long talking about a skill that's essentially just a flat numeric increase depending on which scroll you're in, but there's a lot of implications here that really are worth taking into consideration. If Dereliction wasn't in the game, then you would probably be running 1, 2, maybe 3 Hellfire here to get that massive bonus on top of your usual skills. But the reason I keep bringing Dereliction so much is it really is kind of marginalizing this by existing in just as powerful a way, but on better armor. In any case, I will stop being a broken record and let you move on with your day. Alright then guys, that is every cool new armor skill in Sunbreak covered. Which one is your favorite? Which one are you liking? 
liking. And on that note, like if you've enjoyed this, subscribe and hit the bell for more Sunbreaker League goodness. Consider supporting the future of this channel's existence on Patreon down below. And until we meet again, a good bye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice to look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage is uh goodbye.